Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. Today, Big J <laughs> and okay. me here, we're gonna go on the Magna for a pillion first ride. Are you excited? Yeah, as excited as I get you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll talk to you when we're back on the bike because I'm not gonna show you where I live. Sorry. All right, so we're out on the road. Big J is behind me, you probably can't see him. <laughs> And I'm sure he's enjoying himself. Um, I picked the Magna because of its low center of gravity, so I'm just gonna go through some do's and don'ts if you're if you're carrying a pillion. So number one, and probably the most important thing, is make sure you're covered on your insurance to carry a pillion. So where we're going today is just out to my usual favorite spot out in Ring of Skitty. A bit of fun. Show Big J the ropes. Um, you don't want to be you don't want to be leaning too much. You want to steer a lot more with the pillion, and also, you know, mounting and dismounting. We'll show you hopefully on Big J's camera in a while. But mounting and dismounting, you want to be on flat, level ground as much as you can find. Don't do it on a hill. Hold your brakes, brace yourself, uh, and let them get on. It's just you know safety stuff. Also, if you're not used to carrying weight. There is an extra person on the back. So with the extra person, your braking distances increase. It's simple physics. So just be aware of that as well. Don't go as fast as you usually would. You're gonna be putting extra stress on your suspension. You actually might have more grip. So, you know, that's kind of be a good thing. And also you can scare your passenger. Although I haven't heard him freak out yet, so. <laughs> But yeah, so you want to just basically, you don't want to lean as much. Um, and also you want to go through a couple of safety things with your passenger first, right? Now I'm no expert on riding with a pillion. Have I done it before? Yes. Am I comfortable riding with a pillion? Absolutely. Um, but you don't, you want to make sure that they know not just to go leaning uh, whenever they want, because if a pillion passenger shifts their weight around, it's like, it's like when you shift your weight around, you shift your weight around to steer. If they shift their weight around, it does the same thing, but you're not expecting it. So it can take you by surprise if it happens. So it's just to be aware of that and be careful of it. We'll give them a bit of fun here, will we? <laughs> Hopefully he's enjoying it though. So I was planning on making a maintenance video today with Big J, but then the sun was so nice and we kind of had this one in the plans to, to give him a go on it. I said we just we just had to go out and do it. The only thing that I'm kind of not upset about it just would have been better is if I'd had Big J mic'd up. But I only have one lav mic, just the one, uh, and it's in my helmet, so I can talk to you. That's about it, really. But like like what I'm doing here, right? So usually I'd go a little bit faster on this road. But for now I have a pillion, so it's just gently into the bends. Like that, you know, you just, everything it has to be smoother. So when you're braking, make it smoother. Uh, if you need to stop, now obviously in an emergency this is different, but if you need to stop and you're planning on coming to a stop, what you want to do is roll in and stop like on the flattest piece of ground you can to get your foot down planted. Because your pillion can't put their feet down, or it shouldn't put their feet down, right? and also probably can't so you just have to be aware of that and just position yourself uh, correctly for your situation but the main thing is slow down a bit lean less and just enjoy the ride so today that's easy because it's really nice weather Oh. <laughs> I should mention, uh, Big J has never been on a bike before uh, properly. I brought him around an estate before in the Magna, so like a housing estate. I didn't even have a helmet on. We went like 10 kilometers an hour. And that was it. So this is his first time properly on a bike. Because I'm sure some of you are asking, why didn't he just get his own bike? Well, this is all part of that process. This is. This is part of how we're going to get him on a bike, is show him 
how bloody awesome it is. That's another road. Why are there always road signs on the road here? So now what I mean here, so I know I'm going left up here, right? So slow down early. Get down the gears. Nice and smooth up around the corner. Get on your indicator. And now I'm pretty much stopped, right? So I'm down into gear, I'm ready to go. I can roll into it. Turn nice and gently. And then you're just smooth acceleration because you don't want to go too fast, right? If you accelerate too fast, what's going to happen is... Oh, what's happening behind you right now, actually? You'll get your passenger. They'll be, like, tipping their helmet off you all the time. Just little, just little tips. Just a little, like, oh, hey, I'm still here, you know? Uh, which is fine. It's not a problem. Don't worry about it if it happens. But it's just to be aware of it that it probably is going to happen. Um, and don't get afraid if it does. There's, there's literally nothing your passenger can do about it because they don't know when you're braking they don't know when you're accelerating you feel it you're automatically bracing for it um, <laughs> and it's going to take someone a while to get used to that so every pillion I've ever carried has headbutted me in the back of the head multiple times and that's okay <laughs> every time I put on the accelerator just a little bit <laughs> he squeezes extra tight it's very funny but yeah so we're going to stop now and do a little interview with Big J, see that he enjoy it. But basically, right, the basics of riding with a pillion. Like, if you don't think of anything else, think of these things. Go slower. Slow down. Brake smoother. Like, coming in here, don't have yourself in a situation where you're going to have to slam on the brakes because it's not the same thing. You have, you have an extra essentially dead weight behind you and they're going to move forward as well they're not expecting the moves you're expecting just take it handy turns nice and smooth take them wide like this number three make sure you bring them through the rules no shifting around don't try lean just stay where the hell you are you know if you want to stop slap twice or something you know just have have like a, a safe not a safe word per se because you know you're not going to hear them a safe move Slap me in the helmet, slap me in the chest, you know, do something. Um, just have something prepared. And also, if you have bike with, like, a, bu a bike, if you have a bike with easily adjustable suspension, um, and if you ride with generally quite soft, now I generally ride with my, my suspension quite hard, so we're actually okay. But if you ride with it usually quite soft, um, just make sure that you dial it up a bit, because otherwise you're going to bottom out on lots of bumps. Whereas, to be honest on this bike now this is actually probably more comfortable for me than usual because it's probably set up for like you know more one and a half people um than one <laughs> so actually with the two of us on it because i weigh a lot it's probably more like two people but hagon set these shocks up for me so yeah it's, it's more like one and a half for these shocks that's another thing right make sure that your bike is suitable so the reason i'm out in the magna is it has a low center of gravity so it's easy for me to control. Now, any bike is actually pretty easy to control once you get going. The trouble is when you stop. So if you have a really tall bike and you have a passenger on, right, and you stop, and they're, you know, maybe they're as heavy as you, maybe you're of equal weight, it's, it's a much different experience. Um, and it'll feel like, it, it'll feel like you want, make you want to topple. It's a lot of weight to control, you know? If you've ever ridden with um, a lot of gear on the back of the bike, it's similar to that, but not the same because it's a living uh, creature. So you just have to be aware of that too. Another thing to remember is your brakes. And make sure you use the both of them, right? I didn't mention that earlier and I should have. So when you're braking with two people on, I mean, I'm, I'm often guilty of only using my front brake a lot when I'm just coming into, you know, fast corners on the phaser because because we won't get into white. Look at those views, so pretty. But yeah, make sure your brakes are in good working order, make sure you use both of them. If you don't use both of them, uh, it's kind of like braking in the rain. You don't want to dive, you know? So like there now, right, that took me a lot longer to slow down um, than it normally would, than I'd normally expect it to take. That's because I have a big J on the back, so it's just to be aware of that. And that's stopping. Stopping is important. 
Uh, you can get off. So stopping is important because you want to make sure that they get off before you. Um, don't like doing anything crazy. <laughs> well, what did you think? I have so many questions. <laughs> Go on. How does someone hold on for longer than 10 minutes? My arms are f <laughs> Well, like generally, they wouldn't be as scared as you. <laughs> Every time I accelerated, I could just feel you go like... <laughs> but to be honest, right, this bike is supposed to have a sissy bear. And that's like... It comes from here and it's like a backrest. Oh, it's on my back. Yeah, it's like a backrest, so... Um, two potholes are so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hit, I hit a pretty bad one there, yeah. But did you have fun? Yeah, it was good, yeah. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah, I was much less scary than I thought. So you see, you saying you enjoyed it, now I think that like you're ready to get your own bike. Because you admitting that you enjoyed it, that's something else. You're ready, aren't you? You're ready. I'm wrecked, I need to start like working out. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, I want people to vote. Comment down below. Should Big J let me to teach him to ride a bike if I was to also build a 250 on the channel or something? Vote down below, let us know in the comments. Make sure you at Big J so he knows. <laughs> also, just these are the stickers I was talking about. That's them there. If you want one, let me know. And I'm gonna keep poking the back of this helmet and hopefully annoy Big J a little bit. I'm gonna get a 250. Small little motorbike for yourself. No? Nah, I'd probably die. Nah, you wouldn't. Just one second there. So, when mounting up a pillion passenger, First thing I'm going to do is start the bike, and then I'm going to position it so that we can go straight out the gate. Just make life easier on yourself, it's a lot easier to move a bike around with no big J on it. Always make sure your pillion mounts from the left, hold your brakes, plant your feet, and make sure they're comfortable, which he's taking the time doing. You good? Yeah. Yeah. Genuinely, riding with a pillion is no more difficult than riding on your own. You just have to ride slower, take bends wider. That's really all there is to it. Big J has asked me to avoid speed bumps because apparently they hurt him. Not speed bumps, potholes. Of which we have plenty. But anyway, basically, there's two things we need to get from this video, right? Number one, for you to be comfortable, I suppose, trying to take a pillion. If I can ride with a pillion, you can definitely ride with a pillion. Number two, what I want to get out of this video is we definitely have Big J more comfortable around bikes now. So like I said earlier, drop a comment. Tell him he has to get a bike. We'll have another we'll have another person added to the channel for rides. This has to be one of my favourite roads, just go for a short evening spin on though. So much fun. Such a nice road. I would not mind a pint of Murphy's now. No sir. No, sir. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope, I hope if you've been thinking about bringing a pillion on your bike, that maybe this makes you feel that little bit more comfortable. I hope it helped, basically. If you have any questions about riding with a pillion that you think I might be able to help with, drop a comment below. Um, if you've enjoyed the video or even found it a little bit helpful, even if you hated it and found it slightly helpful, or even just enjoyed the noise of the magnet, Please do leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more content. This is the first ever pillion ride I've done, so if you're interested in pillion rides only, this probably isn't the place for you. But hey, drop a subscribe anyway, because I really appreciate it. Um, it helps me out, it helps me to keep going making videos. Um, just from a mental point of view, I don't earn anything off these. Anyway, that's all from me. If you watch, thank you for watching again. Um, yeah. So until next time, adios. Alright, so Big J, how'd you find that? Yeah, uh, as you can see. <laughs> his yeah, his arms, arms are that tired. Wrecked. That tired. Um, That's so, so sweaty, <laughs> if you can see that. Yeah, but you're sweaty because you're dirty. Um, yeah. So, would you do it again? Yeah, I definitely would do it again. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. Oh, that's one goal achieved. Would you. Consider learning to ride a bike now. Oh, I don't know. Like, um, 
I don't like cycling a bike. Never mind riding. A <laughs> yeah, bike. but it's so much easier than cycling a bike because you do this and you go. Yeah. And you don't get tired as much. Mm. Depends mm. on the bike you ride, but you don't get tired as much. Yeah. It is nice. And the day of today was. Very it was nice. nice and sunny. It yeah. was nice and sunny. And now we get to get ramen. That is that is a big plus. It's a big plus. That's a big plus. Yeah. Helmet okay well, for you. Cars can also get to ramen. Nah, cars aren't the same. Cars aren't the same. So. Yeah, is there any tips you'd give to people who wanted to ride pillion for the first time ever? Yeah, probably do it. It's not as it's not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. Cool. Um, Anything else? Go with a person who is probably slightly insane, <laughs> so they know not to go to th- to that level of insanity. If that makes any sense. That level of insanity. Not to the level of insanity that you you can go to. All oh, right. Yeah. So someone who so ha- someone has pushed the levels of boundary so far that the normal <laughs> driving limits are like. You, th- you think some crazy crazy rider like you haven't seen any Jigsaw I've heard, Bros. I've heard stories. Shorts and flip flops type stuff. I wear gear most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, it's good. We'll close right. it out. If you've stayed to this part, by the way, I've already said adios, which is the end of the video, as everyone knows. So this yeah. is kind of nearly like. A blooper reel, so... Extras. Yeah, if you've enjoyed this, uh, thanks for watching. Um, Big Jail return to his cameraman duty soon. We might get another oh, pillion <laughs> We might get another <laughs> pillion right in. Um, but yeah, until then, thanks for watching. Bye. Go get on the back of a bike or ride a bike. Just be on a bike. Adios. <laughs>